So I got a solar panel kit. And I got the ground mount system. Comes with a ton of Unistrut. Some kind of cryptic drawings on how to do it. It's not too hard. Basically, you just make a big triangle. It's supposed to be just set it on the ground, I guess. I'm going to put it on pier blocks. So I'm going to pre-cut everything. And then get grandkids over here and they can help me put it together and we'll stick it up and see how it goes. I got 32 panels and I'll get more on that as I go. Got the assembly crew working. Basically we're making a bunch of big triangles. That look like A's because I have something running down on me. Okay. Come on, get to work, you guys. Work, work, work. Yeah, but this doesn't line up. Yep, okay. We're trying to do the rack for the solar array. I got my helpers. Set it on the concrete. Okay, come back here and grab it, Adam. I'm on it. Up. There they go. It's the last one. I would have filmed the whole thing, but probably don't want to do it the way we did it. No, it worked okay. Okay, I'm going to tighten it up and here we go. Okay, we're putting the laterals in. Measurements were wrong on the print, so we're going to put the top one in and just guess. <laughs> A little harder than it looks. I got all the horizontal runs attached and where I need them. Check my bracing, cross bracing, then I'm going to start hanging panels. Okay, so I'm starting to put up the panels. I just made a little jig. So I just set the panel on there and I can either hook it up to the microinverter or go behind and do it. Um, and then I just kind of crawl up. I figure I'll do the bottom next. That way I can get up there without having to get some fancy lifting equipment. So I put the micro inverter up, put the tails on it. And when I put the panel up there, I can hook the one side. And then I slide it over and I can hook the other. It's working so far. Still plugging along. It's working out pretty good. My battery died on the time lapse, so I'm not stopping. Had to run to town and get some nuts, Unistrut nuts. I ran out. A lot of them were 5 sixteenths, and I need quarter. Probably got in the wrong bin. You know how that is sometimes. Okay, we got them all up. We didn't break any. I did a domino on it. Nope. Uh, we did domino the triangles, the Unistrut ones, but... Connecting up the panels, pretty much plug and play. You got two DC leads, and they plug right in. And then you have what's called a Q cable, which is the AC. Not plugs in, it's all daisy chained. So you plug them in all the way down to however long your run is going to be. Then you might have to do a splice into your combiner box depending on, you know, how far away it is. Pretty simple. 
So here's the back side of our giant erector set. I gotta put some uh, guy wires in. Buddy gave me a five gallon pail of muffler clamps, told me to do something with them. He knows I do artwork, so it worked out pretty good. They will go in there and gives them somewhere to land the cables. Um, here's a picture of my artwork. Anyways, I'll show you how I get these things anchored. Get the guy wires in, I'll snug them up here later. <clears throat> the other thing is these rods, these uh, all thread, half inch all thread, driven into the ground. It says five feet, I didn't read it all, so I just drove the whole thing, and I think they were eight feet or something. I don't know what they were, they were long. <laughs> they're in there quite a ways, so even without the guys, they're uh, pretty secure. I don't have any guy wires going from the front back. I got one up there. I had an extra, so I added it. I don't know if I'll put one here or not. I'm going to watch it. Definitely don't want to lose it. Okay, here's the back side of the panels. I'll do a quick, somebody's getting a duck, getting a quick walk through here and just kind of explain what everything is. The panels are bifacial, so that means this back side's going to generate power. Like when I get snow on the ground, it'll uh, reflect back, hopefully. I don't really know how it's going to work. I've only had it powered on about three days. Then it has these little micro inverters, and everything's just plug and play. You plug them all in and they make the AC. There's no neutral. Um, and it all goes down to this combiner box. So all the, all the uh, microinverters feed through what's called a Q cable. Then it feeds in this panel. And I have two groups of 11 and one group of 10. And they feed in through their own circuit breaker. And then there's a little card in there that reads what's going on tells the world I got uh, Wi-Fi cable pulled to that I think it's wireless but I just I'm pretty far out here so anyways that's you know you can look that up but that's what I have here okay so that's the back side of my combiner box so I'm running out of that I got my two legs of power it's up to I think this array can make 50 amps you gotta I size it for that and then I go in underground here and then I go like 150 feet underground and I go over to my workshop over here and I'll get closer up there and show you that. So I'm at my shop now looking back in the panels like I said I ran 150 feet underground then I come up here and I run through my through my shop over just pulled conduit and I'm still sized for 50. I think I got four at aluminum underground because I had it 
and I'm running six gauge and I run over across my shop up and around and down and to this disconnect so the only thing from the combiner box in is this disconnect and this is just so I can lock out the solar panels if I need to or safety or whatever I don't ever have to should never have to flip this and I'm going in this is just going into a disconnect for my shop which is coming from my house into a panel I'll show you that so then I'm just running from that disconnect into this panel and my bottom breaker a 50 amp is my solar array so my panel here that's this big disconnect is going up to my main meter base and it's up by the house it's a couple hundred feet away my lot is north facing I don't have a good lot but I got really good sun out in that field so hence the panels out there in a long ways but once I hit this panel with electricity you know it doesn't care as long as you size the wires right it works and I'll show you my net meter so there's my panel runs to my shop and it's running underground again all the way up to my meter base that incidentally I installed in 1978 I'm not 21 anymore then this fancy panel they came and put a you got to put stickers on there and then this fancy panel has a net meter it has a bunch of screens and tells you what's going on I'm not really certain so here's my panel it's, it's made I don't know the most one in the Sun's been 500 almost 500 watt hours and you see it gets darker as it goes down to 153 and that'll change during the day I think yesterday they went up to like 1.5 kW each or something I made 12 kW so far today it's only 1140 so when this was taken but that's kinda what the panels look like and then here's a here's an overview of what it looks like uh, as the day goes on with clouds going up and down in the thing um, I just took a picture of it I don't know how to do all that fancy you know on screen stuff it's good enough it's not really a tutorial I'm just showing you what I'm doing <laughs> 